we have two very special guests with us today. We have Teacher Kirkwood. <laughs> Here at Southgate. I know you've only been here for two years, right? This is my second year starting. And yes. you said six years? Six years. Still longer than that? Three times as long. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so for, those, for those math people out there. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you like it so far? Me? I mean, it's been great so far. I have had a chance to teach almost every grade level. I have not taught a lot of 10th graders yet, but overall everybody's very welcoming. It's, it's great, great student culture and all of that. Uh, I love it too. This is my 23rd year actually teaching. I have my sixth year at Southgate. And it's great kids, great staff. I have a lot of work friends. <laughs> <laughs> so the next question is, do you have any hidden talents? Anything you want to share? Yeah, you can take this one first. <laughs> I mean, tall wouldn't be a hidden talent. <laughs> it's an obvious talent, but that's not hidden at all. Um, I don't play an instrument. I give great advice. Everyone's telling me that I give great advice. All my friends, even in high school, uh, friends would tell me that I give pretty good advice. So. Um, I can make macaroni and cheese from scratch. <laughs> like, like the sauce. I mean, I can make pasta if we need to, but I, yeah, that's what I can do. Like make the sauce, make the pasta, all of that. No craft mac and cheese in my house. So, so yeah. what time is lunch tomorrow? It's gonna. It's going to be gluten free, so you might be disappointed. Oh, okay. I okay. You don't get to be this tall. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's okay. pretty obvious. You even should have milk, right? Yes. And even if it's not moving, I'll eat it. Oh, oh. I eat everything. Uh, so the next question's for you. What inspires your style? I see. Well, I have you for class, so you're always coming in with a different hairstyle. Your style's amazing. <laughs> I'm not, getting, I'm not getting back no, off. You're not, you're not, you're not. Look, look at the difference. No, especially this one. How long does it take oh. you to do your hair? A long time. <laughs> We're a teacher cooker right now. Um, no, so before I was a teacher, I worked in customer service and we had a uniform and we could not dye our hair any colors other than natural. So I worked there for five years. So when I got out, I was like, I can have fun now. <laughs> so I like working my way through the rainbow and I use it to let students pick sometimes, which I think is fun. And I'm a fan of graphic t-shirts, especially ones like this one, I think was a fundraiser for a different organization like two years ago. So I just love something that's a conversation starter. Cool. Yeah. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> can I pick your next character? Yes. I mean, I mean, I don't have any bleach, so it's gonna have to be a dark color because my ends are starting to die a little bit. But, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and your question is, well, it's for both of you, but you can go first. Um, what would you be if you weren't a teacher? How old am I? No, <laughs> <laughs> kidding, let me see. Am I still in college? Am I 46? I don't know. I probably would have been like an accountant or something like with taxes. Uh, 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 my original major in college was business. I was a business major and I switched over to math my second year in college because I decided to be a math teacher, so. Oh, I thought you were going to mention something about basketball. Well, I, <laughs> I did coach basketball at high school level for uh, 17 years, but we don't get paid to coach high school basketball. <laughs> so I have to have an actual job. Which is <laughs> well, that's actually what got me into teaching. Wow, you're, the, you're roasting the coaches now? Well, 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 no, I'm not really I'm not myself. But, uh, you know, well, that's what got me to teaching was when I was in college, I was coaching youth football. And I really enjoyed that. So then I was like, well, I want to keep doing it. But then I wanted to, so, so in order for me to coach at the high school level, I have to be a teacher. So I was like, well, what should I teach? And I was between math, which is my favorite subject. And then I like telling stories. So I was thinking history, but I'm not, I don't like reading. So I stuck with math. Okay. Um. Something similar, when I was in college, I was a part of a fellowship program, so I got paid money to do research on whatever I wanted, but it was a PhD track program, which clearly I bailed on. But I think I would be a professor because you can teach individual courses based on like whatever you're interested in. So when I was in college, I took two courses on like movies that were about sci-fi stuff and then movies that were about horror stuff. So I think that's where I would thrive in terms of like being able to really 
get into detailed topics that I want to cover. Well, thank you for letting us know all of this. And uh, we have a challenge for you guys. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's not that bad. Well, we're going to have you sit well, down. Are we going to eat something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. Hold Fear factor. Fear factor. You're going to sit down and then you're just going to watch something. And you have to react to it. Oh god, okay. okay. You just, you can't laugh. Oh, oh we can't laugh. No. That's what the hell oh. is. There's okay. the water in your mouth. I'm practicing. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Got you! <laughs> Mr. Gay 